The Manitoba government is promising $12 million to improve a highway intersection where 17 people died last summer. Their minibus was hit by a semi-trailer on the Trans-Canada Highway near Carberry. Today's report is not an investigation into that crash itself, but does propose changes to the intersection that is known to be dangerous. Marnie Blunt is in Dauphin. That's home to most of the victims. Marnie. Donna, this community has been forever changed ever since a bus carrying 25 passengers left here six months ago. It was headed to a casino near Carberry when it collided with a semi on Highway 1, killing 17 people. And now a new report from the province aims to ensure the tragedy like this will never happen again. This is a difficult uh, topic for all of us, but more so for the family members of those we lost in this terrible tragedy and of course for the survivors. The province briefing family members of victims and survivors before releasing the report Monday. Many of the short-term safety enhancements have already been put in place, including additional signage, flashing lights and refurbishing the rumble strips. There are also plans for review on speed and speed compliance. The crux of the report, the medium term options, which include three alternatives, including a median widening, a roundabout, or a reduced conflict intersection, which forces drivers to turn right and do a U-turn when trying to go through the intersection. One of those three options will be selected through a public consultation process in about six months. It's an estimated $12 million project with construction planned for 2025 and a target of being complete by fall 2026. The longer term option being considered an interchange, which would take more than 25 years. Adrian Zerba's mother, Claudia, died in the crash. She says she can't go near the intersection, but was pleased to hear the plans. Changes have to come. And I think what they brought forward today, I'm, I'm happy with it. It does give me some peace. As for the investigation into the crash, Manitoba RCMP say it's still ongoing. On Monday, officers wouldn't say whether or not criminal charges have been ruled out, but did say they have not yet been able to speak to the driver who was injured in the crash. Donna? All right, Marnie Blunt in Dauphin, Manitoba, thanks.